We're going to spend some time today looking at a new interview that Donald Trump gave to The Washington Post. Every time that Trump gives these long form interviews to print media outlets, it is a veritable house of horrors is what I would uh, call it. If it seems that Trump is clueless when he's talking in these sound bites or when yelling over the whir of his helicopter on the White House lawn, that is nothing compared to what happens when Trump actually sits down for a longer interview with print media who then publish transcripts of what Donald Trump says. And Donald Trump gave one of these interviews to The Washington Post. He sat down with Josh Dossie and uh, Philip Rucker from The Washington Post. And what I want to do today is really dig into just a few of the sections. There's really a lot to look at here to get a sense of it, the, the way in which it's so much more evident that the guy has no clue when you let him talk a little more, when you have a format that allows for follow up questions or clarifications. And what we very quickly learn is giving Donald Trump the opportunity to clarify actually muddies the water even more. It becomes less clear what he's trying to say and what he knows. So let's just jump into it and we can talk about some of these. Here's a first section. OK, and we're putting these up on the screen and I'll read them to you and we'll discuss. Josh Dossie asked Trump. Uh, this was about that climate change report that Trump says he just doesn't believe, which is his own administration's report. Dossie says you said yesterday when you were leaving that you were skeptical of a climate change report that the government had done. Can you just explain why you're skeptical of that report? Trump says one of the problems that a lot of people like myself, we have very high levels of intelligence, but we're not necessarily such believers. It's already insane. OK, there is no argument to be made when the president is being asked about policy that he's very intelligent. And this has been a hallmark of Trump since he was just candidate Trump talking about Wharton and who knows what else. Trump goes on to say, you look at our air and our water and it's right now at a record clean. That's nonsense gibberish. And it's also not true. And then Trump goes on to say, but when you look at China and you look at parts of Asia and when you look at South America and when you look at many other places in this world, including Russia, including just many other places, the air is incredibly dirty. OK, I mean, I guess he's pointing out that there's pollution all over the planet. But again, it has nothing to do with the believability of his administration study. And he goes on and says, and when you're talking about an atmosphere, oceans are very small and it blows over and it sails over. What on earth does that mean? I, I don't I don't know what he's talking about. And then he goes on to say, I mean, we take thousands of tons of garbage off our beaches all the time that comes over from Asia. It flows right down the Pacific. It flows. And we say, where does this come from? And it takes many people to start off with. The hell is this guy talking about? OK, I mean, he's pointing out that the currents in the Pacific Ocean bring some trash over from Asia to the west coast of the US. That's all true. But Pat, th does this have anything to do with the study? Does this have anything to do with the question Trump was asked, which was, why don't you believe your own administration study saying that there's currents in the ocean? That doesn't mean anything Yeah, it's all rambling. But by the time you get to the end of it, you almost forget what the question was. And maybe that's why it's so effective for him.